Hello guys, this is Amos Stole Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this very famous tune called the Chicken Dance, okay? You've probably heard of this before, it goes like this, check it out. Yeah, pretty awesome, very catchy, okay? So the right hand is the main thing that's hard in this because the right hand's um, pretty fast, requires a little bit of agility in some places and a lot of repeating notes. So yes, here we go. So let's go ahead and break it up to parts to learn it. We'll break it up into four parts so it's easier to learn. Here we go, the first part goes like this. Right hand starts on the G here, middle C here for reference, so it's just the G just above middle C. Goes two Gs, two As, two Es down here. G, and then repeat that seven note motive again. G, G, A, A, E, E, G, and then it goes G, G, A, A, C, C, B, B, A, G, F, and that's the right hand for the first part. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. So, G, G, A, A, E, E, G, 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 A, A, E, E, G, 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 A, A, C, C, B, B, a, G, F. That's the right hand for the first part, okay? Once you get the right hand for the first part, left hand, we're doing the block chords first. At the end of the lesson, I'll tell you the pattern, the complete pattern that I did in the preview, okay? So here we go. Four chords here, the four chords are C major, C, E, G, so two of these C major chords. And then third and fourth chord are both G major chords, which is G, B, D, so two of them as well, okay? So with these four chords in mind, so two C major chords, followed by two G major chords, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts first, G and C major together, G and C major together, B and G major together, F and G major together. And that's the first part, one more time, so it goes like this. That's it for the first part. After you get the first part, let's move on to the second part. Second part, right hand continues like this. It goes F, F, G, G, D, D, F. F, F, G, G, D, D, F. F, F, G, G, B, B, A, A, G, F, E. That's it for the right hand for the second part. One more time, so it goes like this. It goes F, F, G, G, D, D, F. F, F, G, G, D, D, F, 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 G, G, B, B, A, A, G, F, E. And that's it for the right hand for the second part. Once you get the right hand there, left hand, we have like four chords here. It's actually like the reverse of the first part. So first of all, we have two G major chords, which is G, B, D, so two of them. Then third and fourth chord reverses back to two C major chords, C, E, G, so two of them. That's why it says like the reverse of the first um, part because it's like the other way around. So two G majors followed by two C majors. That's the four chords for the second part. Okay, the two hands together for this second part goes like this. Right hand starts. F and G major get up. F and G major get up. A and C major get up. E and C major get up. Just like that. One more time, it goes like this. That's it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be play like this. Check it out. Just like that. And then something awesome happens. The third part is actually exactly the same as the first part. So you repeat the first part like this. Oops. Um. Third part, same as the first part, remember that, okay? So yeah, then, okay, let's move on. Fourth part is nearly the same as the second part, but not exactly. There's a, uh, just uh, the third, I, th I guess like three quarters of the way is different, but first half is the same. Once again, this is this. Same. And then the right hand changes here. It goes G, G, A, A, B, B, and then C and C major together. And then it's the same again. A, G, F, E, and C major together. 
So yeah, see, it's only the right hand, the third quarter is different, okay? Instead of doing F, F, G, G, B, B, A, is this time is G, G, A, A, B, B, C, okay? Remember that, okay? It allows you to speed learn it because you'd know what's the same and what's not the same. So check it out once again. This fourth part, um, compared to the second part, really similar. First half is the same, like this. Same, and then different. G, G, A, A, B, B, C, and C major together, and then A, G, F, E, and C major together. A, G, F, uh, E is the same as that other, um, the second part though, okay? So remember, that's the fourth part. If you know how to do it like that, you'll learn it a lot quicker because you know what's similar and what's different, okay? But anyway, that's the fourth part. So back to back, all four parts would be played like this. Check it out. zone off in this. This is like a really trance-like song. Like if you zone off, it's easy to kind of like play the wrong note. So make sure you concentrate throughout this song, okay? So don't zone out like me, okay? But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. After you got all the melody and chords right, uh, very good, very even, and all the rhythm correct, so then you can start to improvise, um, implement, not improvise, improvise. Okay, it's a combination of it, okay? But anyway, well, it's sort of, it's not really an improvisation, it's more like a decoration or compliment pattern for the left hand. For the chords, you do this pattern, okay? So like for, there's only two chords, it's C major and G major, right? So for the chords, you do this pattern where you play the, uh, the root note followed by the higher two notes, followed by that high note one octave below, and then back to the higher two notes again, like that. So you apply this pattern for all the chords, even the G major, same thing. And then yeah, you put it together like this. So it requires a little bit of hand independence. Okay, if you're still a beginner, it might be a little bit difficult. But anyway, here we go. Get the melody in course first, very good first, then you can apply this. The right hand is a little bit hand seizure because of the repeating notes, so it can be a little bit different, uh, difficult if you guys are just starting off the piano because the da, 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 it might be like you can't really. Sometimes you might be not able to control it properly, but like da, 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 like not fully even. Okay, that's that might be the case. Okay, that's normal because you haven't fully developed like a strong and fast agility for the fingers yet. Okay, so da, 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 da. so go slow first. Dun, 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 like that. speed. Etc. Okay, but anyway, yeah, practice that. Well, practice is the way to go anyway. So even if you're just starting off, this can be done with practice, okay? It's not that difficult. There are patterns to it, and once you get the patterns into your head, it should be fine, okay? But anyway, have fun learning this very, very awesome and catchy song, The Chicken Dance. Yeah, play it to your family. Your, pro your family probably know this song. This song is like, Really, really, really famous, okay? It's like a traditional, when is it a traditional dance? Not really, I don't know, maybe, but yeah, you might know how to do the um, physical dance as well, so yeah, you can get someone to dance to your playing as well, okay? But anyways, yeah, enjoy this. If you like this uh, video, go ahead, you can check out all my other piano tutorials on this channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos for you to enjoy and learn from. It's like so many other different types of songs, like it's just, like you can literally find a lot of like genres on this channel, like ranging from like movie theme songs, uh, English Billboard, Chinese, uh, Korean, Japanese, meme songs, game songs, video games, just everything. Like just go ahead, do a search, just search up the name followed by Amos Doll in the search bar and you can check if I've um, taught your favorite song on this channel or not. And then you can learn that for yourself there as well. But anyway, yeah, if you like this type of teaching, go ahead, you can also learn piano from me. Uh, go to my website, bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below for, to learn from my piano courses. I did like, a lot of courses made for like how to play by ear, how to improvise, how to read sheet music, how to play and sing, and a lot more and other stuff to learn. Okay, but anyway, go ahead, check it out for yourself as well. As for now, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. 
For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.